Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us at the Market Side Studio in Times Square, New York City, we have Frank Holmes, CEO of U.S. Global Investors and Hive Blockchain Technology, both NASDAQ listed companies. Frank, it's great to see you. Welcome back to Trade Talks. It's great to be back, but I'm the executive chair uh, of Hive Blockchain. Oh, okay. And, uh, and it makes a big difference on being the chair and working on strategy. Uh, uh, Iden Killick is the CEO. Oh, okay, well thank you for that clarification. Um, I appreciate that and apologies. Let's talk about Hive Blockchain, well known for being the first cryptocurrency mining company to go public back in 2017. Besides the Bitcoin mining side of the company, tell us more about Hive's relation to the, the GPU cloud market. Well, what we did is that we purchased a lot of NVIDIA chips uh, a little, about a year, 18 months ago, and it was mining Ethereum and the ability then to go into AI, and we've been building out an AI platform. We never thought, A, Ethereum would disappear so quickly in mining, it was very profitable. It was six months earlier than we anticipated, and the AI has exploded much faster than we anticipated. But that's all positive, because we purchased 38,000 of these chips that allow you to, not just crypto mining, but our long-term vision is AI, and these sort of diversified and independent data centers in Sweden, Iceland, and Canada. Let's talk about Web3 metaverse applications such as ChatGBT. Of course, that takes a lot of computing power and of course, AI processors. We've seen the money flow into stocks that are related to that, such as NVIDIA and other data center um, um, operators like Hive. Can you tell us a little bit about how Hive is part of this digital transformation? Well, there's this great digital transformation that is so significant and, and what I discovered was it's all about data centers. You need to have data centers and then you have to think of the quality of the data center and the ability of the data center not only to mine for us short-term Ethereum, it was then to go long-term AI. And I believe that machine learning is going to continue to prosper and grow, but there's going to be a big demand and that's what the markets are saying. There's uh, one hedge fund that bought $100 million with NVIDIA chips to turn around to say, I give you the chips of your PhD and I get a piece of your company. Um, so there's a scramble we saw for, for ASIC machines like in 2019, we're seeing that for NVIDIA and uh, in particular NVIDIA. So I think it's very, very positive. I've, um, we've seen the growth, as you know, the adoption is what 100 million people downloaded in the first two months, and now there's an app. Mm -hmm. So the, the numbers are, are gonna continue to grow, and we're just very excited about how we participate in that strategy of building out these uh, data centers around the world. So uh, let's talk The other concern was this, Facebook. So if you put a picture up on Facebook, it's theirs. Uh, you've lost it. And that was some of the concern about how, where they put their data and, and if you're doing sort of your own patented type of AI, uh, is someone else gonna take that piece of uh, work of yours? So the independent data centers and where we can turn around and put storage so, so that it's their data, it's their patent, it's their AI. And that's what makes Web3 and the metaverse so interesting, seeing users take some of that power back and in many cases being compensated for companies to use your yes. data. So if you're thinking about an investment in blockchain, crypto, data centers, of course, Hive plays in all of those spaces, make the investment case. Um, my investment case is that uh, we have high revenue per employee like the royalty companies. Uh, last year, we did about $6 million per employee. That's significantly higher than uh, Goldman Sachs. Uh, we, the year before it was more like 11 million. So we, we're very caught up with the cash flow return on invested capital model, and that's why we make these long-term decisions like where we are in AI. Uh, what we do believe is that we'll get a re-rating in the future as a data center, because that's what's very valuable, are having these data centers and having access to green energy. Uh, and the other last thing I'm gonna share with you is so exciting to have in green energy is a, the vision of building a 95,000 square foot greenhouse 100 miles south of the Arctic Circle that will supply all the uh, uh, cucumbers and tomatoes, et cetera, for Northern Sweden. Uh, and we're recycling the energy in Montreal to heat a building five times the size. So you can not only do data mining, you could turn around and heat other buildings and create other uh, lower cost energy enterprises. Yeah, it's so interesting, the mining story, that it really can be a factor in, in working with climate change when initially in the beginning it was, it was consuming so much energy and so forth, but you're seeing not innovation even just with data mining, but the innovation that they're doing in the climate change space. Correct. And I think there's been lots of what they call FUD on, on how much energy consumed by Bitcoin mining. We're 1% of the network and uh, at 100 megawatts, that's not 
uh, the numbers they were saying, 2% of the world or whatever, it, it's greatly exaggerated. The real exciting part is this redeployment and displacement of energy to heat water, to heat basements. Uh, when I was in Montreal last week, I met a bunch of guys that said, oh yeah, we've been have, heating our basements and keeping our house warm through the winter. Uh, we recycle that electricity, so not only Bitcoin mine, uh, then we turn around and, and it, we save huge on any type of natural gas. So interesting, being a utility in itself. So Absolutely. it's interesting how the story's turned around. Frank, appreciate the insight as always. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks. And thanks for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.